Hi, this is Brent Meyer with SSM Health Weight Management. And what we're going to do here today is just to do a full body workout. What you need here is you need a ball. I'm going to use a weighted ball, medicine ball, but if you have a basketball, a volleyball, it doesn't necessarily have to be weighted. But if you can stand the weight, then go ahead. If you have a medicine ball or some type of ball that has a little more weight to it, grab that. And in case you don't have any of that, you can still use a dumbbell. And then you need a band any type of band that you have that's elastic that will stretch and you'll also need some pair of dumbbells. Now if you don't have any of that equipment you can get really any of that equipment at any type of uh, store that has a sporting goods section, any type of Walmart or Target, anything like that. But uh, try to pick one, some of those up because they're always useful to have and they last forever and they're cheap and very, very effective and can be worked from home. So anyway, what we're going to do here is we're going to start off by walking in place. I like to walk in place first. I don't like to start off too crazy because I don't want to pull any muscles or anything like that. But we just kind of get those knees up a little higher than you would normally walking. Keep your abs tight and pump your arms. After we do this for about 30 seconds, we're just going to do a little bit of punching and moving our legs side to side while punching. So we're going to get a lot of things moving here at the beginning because I want your body loosened up and feeling good for all the things we're going to do for this circuit. So let's keep going here a few more seconds. Keep breathing, keep your stomach tight, pump your arms, get your legs up. And in a couple seconds, we're gonna move to the punching and moving side to side. And good. So right here, all you're gonna do is step this way, punch, punch. Step this way, punch, punch, okay? We're just gonna do that for about 30 seconds here, okay? So just step, punch, punch, step, punch, punch. I'll stop talking now because I know we're probably gonna be all doing this at different levels, different paces, but just keep stepping to the side and then punch, punch. Step to the side, punch, punch. Step to the side, punch, punch. But again, keep breathing. That's the biggest thing that you need to do a lot of people don't breathe when they're doing any type of cardio, which I know sounds really crazy, but it's the truth. And that's how accidents happen. It's how people get dizzy. We just want you to keep breathing. Keep those abs tight, side to side, punch, punch. We're gonna do a few more here, and then we're gonna move to the next exercise. And good, all right. So now that we're loosened up, just have the heart pumping, everything's feeling good, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with the lower body and we're just gonna work our way right on up. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go into our modified squats. And we're gonna take three different types of squats here because we're gonna work three different parts of your legs. So how we're gonna start is you're gonna take a nice wide stance like that. I want it pretty significant from shoulder width apart. So once you get shoulder width, take a good step out each way. And what you're gonna do is just squat down a few inches. You don't need to go down all the way. If you can, fantastic. If not, don't worry about it. An inch is an inch. I just want you to feel this. That's the biggest thing. Just feel the workout. Judge it and be safe, okay? But each time you're gonna come up, you're gonna come to your toes. So I'm gonna angle to the side here. But remember, wide stance, Okay, now, in that stance, go ahead and squat down just a little bit and up to your toes. We've got 10 reps. Ready, down, up, one, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, 10. All right, great. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna take a step in from that wide position and come shoulder width apart, kind of like your standard squat. And again, we're gonna go down a few inches and then up right to your toes again. All right, let's turn to the side here. And let's go down and up, and that's one of 10. Down, up, two, down, up, Three, down, up, four, down, up, five, down, up, six, down, up, seven, down, up, eight, down, up, nine, down, up, 10. All right, fantastic. Now here's the tricky one, and this one requires a little bit of balance here. 
So you're going to take your legs and bring them about three to six inches apart. So that's pretty narrow this time. And that's really going to get the front of the legs. It takes a lot of the other muscle groups out of the equation. And you're going to take your little squat and come up to your toes. Now, if you don't feel comfortable coming to your toes because this one does require a little more balance, then just go ahead and do the squat only. It's totally fine. All right? So go ahead. Get that close stance. And squat down a few inches. And up. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, fantastic. Nicely done. So, this next one is a modified version of a lunge. So, a lunge typically you would bring your knee way down close to the ground and back up, but that can take a lot of strain and pressure onto the knee. So what we're actually going to do here is you're going to be in that position of the lunge where you've got one leg out in front of the other, a decent distance here. But what you're going to do is you're just going to take a little bend in that front knee, so this one's not even bending down to the ground, and you're just going to press up with this leg. So the leg that's out in front is one that's really doing all the pushing. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 reps. So just bend that knee a little bit, right on that front leg, and push back. One, down, back. Two, down, back. Three, down, back. Four, down, back. Five, down, back. Six, down, back. Seven, down, back, eight, down, back, nine, down, back, and ten. Fantastic. And, of course, we're going to go with the other leg. All right. So right here, get in position. Okay. And just take a little bend and push back. And that's one. Down, back, two, down, back, three, down, back, four, down, back, five, down, back, six, down, back, seven, down, back, eight, down, back, nine, down, back, and 10. All right, nicely done. So right there, we got the upper legs, the lower legs, and even a little bit of balance. I love throwing that in there. So what we're gonna move into next is we're gonna get to the upper body. And this is where I'm gonna use the medicine ball. So again, you can use a basketball, a volleyball. If you need to use a dumbbell, you know, two, one, three, five pound dumbbell, just whatever you have, that's fine. But I'm gonna use a medicine ball for this. So right here, how this is going to happen is I'm going to start with the ball right in front of me and we're going to do a series of exercises with this ball. And you're going to come up and down and we're going to go 10 times. And then from there we're going to move into another one and then another one. So ready? And come up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, and up, ten. Good. Now take that medicine ball or your basketball, volleyball, dumbbell right to your hip. And from here, you're going to come right to the sides and you're going to feel that through your back a little bit, still in your shoulders and your arms and even a little bit of your abs. Kills a lot of birds with one stone. So ready? Right to your side. And we've got 10 reps. And up. One. Up. Two. Up. Three. Up. Four. Up. Five. Up. Six. Up. Seven. Up. Eight. Up. Nine, up, 
10. All right. And of course, we got to hit the other side here. So take it right to the other side. And we've got 10 reps. Up, one. Up, two. Up, three. Up, four. Up, five. Up, six. Up, seven. Up, eight. Up, nine. And up, 10. All right, fantastic. Okay, so we got one more exercise we're gonna do with this ball here, or whatever tool you're using, and it's just gonna be a push out and come in. So I'm gonna to turn to the side here. So I want your arms pinned up against your body. Ball, or whatever tool you have, right near your chest, and you're simply gonna press out, press in. We're gonna do 15 reps this time. So not 10, but 15. All right, so squeeze that ball or that weight, and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Fantastic. All right, we are done with that ball. So you should be feeling it through your arms, your shoulders, your chest. That's a really good little series of exercises there to start off the upper body. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this ball down and now I'm gonna grab the band. So right here, I've got the band. And again, whatever thing that you have that's elastic, fantastic. If you don't have one and haven't picked one up yet, you can use dumbbells for this next exercise. Because what we're gonna do is a modified row. So what I'm gonna do with this band is I'm gonna step right in the middle of it with my foot, like so. From here, why it's a modified row is I'm just gonna bend my back a little bit. You don't wanna bend it too much, then it puts a lot of strain on the low back. So a normal row would be this, but we're doing this today, okay? So from here, you're gonna take that band or your dumbbells, if that's what you're using, and we're gonna pull it up 15 times, okay? So ready, and up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, 10, up, 11, up, 12, up, 13, up, 14, and up. 15, nicely done. A little note really quick, if you are using a band and that's too easy for you, you can always put both of your feet in the middle and that's gonna make it significantly harder. And you can even widen your feet and the, widen, the more you widen your feet, the harder exercises like that become with a band. Okay, so that's just a little note there for you. So what I'm gonna move into now is dumbbells and we're gonna do curls, but we're gonna do them just a little bit differently than our standard curl. So, right here, I've got my two dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, like in the other videos, you can use soup cans if you have soup cans. You can use two items that are equal weight that you can palm easily in your hands, all right? So what makes these curls we're about to do a little different is you're gonna hold one arm up 90 degrees with your body. So that's where it stays. You don't want it down here and you don't want it up here. That's too relaxed. 90 degrees. Now, with your other arm, you're going to do your standard curl 10 times. And then we're gonna switch sides. So you're doing two different types of motions but still working the same muscle groups. Okay, so go ahead and grab your weights. Lift one arm up, again, that 90 degrees that I showed you, and let's curl with the other arm 10 times. Up, one, up, two, up, three, up, 
four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, and up, ten. Very nicely done. Now, of course, you know we got to switch sides. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hold the other arm up at that 90 degree level and then do 10 curls with the other arm. So ready? Hold that up 90 degrees and come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nicely done. And that's all we're doing with dumbbells here. So I'm going to go ahead and set them down. Now, from here, we're going to do one more exercise. Get the cardio going. We're going to work those arms and it's going to work your chest and your shoulders too. This one's a little rough. All right. So you're going to start about six to eight inches apart here. And then you're going to clap. Clap with your palms, it won't be as loud, unless you really want to give yourself a round of applause, you can clap pretty loud. But I'm just going to go with my palms here, and you're just going to make short, sweet, hard little motions, just like that, and we're going to go roughly 20 seconds, okay? This is going to get it going here. You're going to feel this everywhere. So ready? Get in a good stance. Get your arms about six, eight inches apart, and clap as fast as you can, about 20 seconds. Ready, and here we go. Come on, just like that. Keep clapping, keep everything tight, go as fast as you can, but keep it controlled. Keep going, you should feel that in your arms, your shoulders, your back, your chest. Keep going though, come on. You're gonna notice your heart rate's gonna be going up, you're gonna be sweating, this is good. We like this exercise. Come on, a few more seconds, a few more seconds, speed it up, speed it up, and good. Oh, nice. All right. My heart's going. I hope yours is too. If it's not, you got to do that a little bit faster. All right. Well, there you go. That's your full body circuit right there. If you're up to it, do this video two, three, four times through. If not, that was still a great workout. And thank you so much for joining me today.